Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. I'm glad the last video about the amulet of Mini Minions mod did very good because it's a good mod. It should get the word out there. More people should play it. But building upon the last video, a lot of people wanted to see the max minion amount of a lot of the summons. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm also going to do it with some vanilla summons. We'll do that towards the end because I know you guys want to see the juicy stuff first. So we sort of did a video with this mod in the past, this infinite minion minion mod and uh it's a lie you can't summon in infinite minions because terraria has a limit believe it or not but you can summon in a lot because we tried to crash our game with this mod last time and we pretty much we, we got pretty close but yeah let's grab everything here i guess i'll do them in order and uh let's get to it let's start with the acorn staff how many of these beautiful acorns can we have probably a good bit i have to click every time that means i'm gonna be clicking probably a couple hundred times but as you see it's just a ring of acorns plain and simple now some of them are gonna get really interesting in terms of uh, how they're gonna look i don't know if the mod developers if any mod developers count for this you know being able to summon in a bunch of minions from their mods probably not probably not but for the ones we that do you know maybe we'll see that today or at least for this mod i kind of want to see them in action too like do they do more damage uh, yeah i guess i think the zombies just super strong yeah there you go there was that staff now let's get to one that i'm interested in the slime cart because when we summoned them in the video we had what like four of them like this how far does the train go and is it a different color every time it looks like it's a different color every time at least a different like hue a different shade very very interesting hold up that might be a repeat we might start getting repeats now yeah we're starting to get repeats now oh I don't know if they got umbrellas when they fly. Oh, I guess I should show off their flying animation too. Uh, Cause that's something I completely forgot. And also apparently I forgot a line of sight mechanism in this mod. I don't know. I guess I just didn't read enough about the mod, but uh, we got a good bit here. I don't know the exact number, <laughs> but as you can see, every time I turn, some of them got to fly away, but let's see like the complete flying animation here. Oh, they all got umbrellas. Very nice. Kind of wish they changed it to balloons, you know, hopefully 1.4, they changed the sprite to balloons. But yeah, let's see them in action here. Beautiful. Uh, let me go ahead. Let me summon in the acorns. Even though they already fly. Let's just see anyways. Okay. Next up, we got the prickly pear staff. This summons in the uh, cactus hedgehogs. And uh, let's see their flying animation really quick. They got little pink flowers that help them fly. Okay. Okay. This is a minion where we don't have to see like max. There's going to be a couple of them where we don't have to see max. But there's a lot. I guess I will show their attack off. I'm telling you, this minion would be great during like the goblin invasion. But uh, for this, it not the greatest all right we're on to another interesting one meteor fists now last time i think we saw like around this many fists but let's see let's see how many fists how many do they get they get two per summon so this can get pretty crazy like honestly i can't even tell do i have something where i can tell how many minions i have i should install the mod for that but when you summon in like so many of the fists the same thing happened with the acorn it just like is mesmerizing like what is happening all right i think this is good enough it looks really cool let's go ahead let's summon in something god damn he just got the hands thrown at him literally literally oh my god let's see a flying animation if there's any no he already flies all right next up the paper surfers now a lot of people told me where these guys are from and i knew i knew I had a feeling where they're from because I had the Yu-Gi-Oh card they were from back in the day. Or I guess the cards, multiple. You know, back in the day, I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, you know how it is. And uh, I knew these guys look familiar. They're also just really cool. They're just really cool looking. But there you go. That's a good bit of them. Again, another like mesmerizing animation they're doing. Let's go ahead and fly up with them, okay? And let's go ahead and see them in action. Slowly all flying at that zombie. What about multiples? You guys are gonna leave him? Okay, I guess you're gonna leave him alive. All right, next up, Sky Slasher. We're gonna have a lot of swords behind us. It's kind of weird how they like go up diagonally like this. Like, what is this? All right, there you go. I got it to go off screen a little bit here. Maybe one more. There you go. And uh, see the flying animation. That's a, that's a weird flying animation. There you go. I kind of like how it wraps around, but like they they should, they're very stiff. They stay stiff. Let's see them in action here against multiple enemies. I'm gonna fly above so they all get targeted. Nice. Next up here, the Mystic Palette. We get to see a whole lot of paintbrushes. My favorite. We're summoning all the, you know, past artists. We got Van Gogh in here. We got who the hell else? I, I can't even remember anyone. <laughs> da Vinci. That's a whole lot of paintbrushes. Again, doing that little circle animation. Go ahead. Paint them up. 
paint these boys up leave the skeleton though they always leave the skeleton alive for some reason all right we got some more interesting ones coming for example these cell staffs because last time i think it is four is the max but what if i go past that it just doesn't go past that maybe it just gets stronger that's what i would assume it just gets stronger but again no flying animation here i'm pretty sure there's no flying animation for the uh mystic palette but we could check i guess i like how this mod rewards you for minion variety it's really cool kind of want to do a playthrough of this mod but you know uh, if i if i don't end up finishing the playthrough a lot of people are gonna be mad but yeah this one again not really a flying animation doesn't really get any bigger moving on to the sorbet staff enchanted balloon animal now this is gonna get nice we saw how long we could get the stardust dragon now how long can we get this balloon animal probably pretty damn long am i gonna want to sit here and see it that long not really but i'll get it pretty long for you guys oh oh it's bugging out it's bugging out we overdid it already we overdid it keep going though keep going that's usually what you do in this situation right you keep going he has turned into a projectile all right let's let's see him in action against enemies <laughs> i don't over there go get him all right here he's multiple enemies go get him come on get him when's if i like go over here will you get him oh it was like a drive-by like you couldn't even see it coming right here it's just not working this one broke <laughs> we broke one of the summons all right moving on to the next one that was very interesting that last summon but we're moving on to the biker gang of course right, actually hold up let me go to this one is there any flying animation here not kind of i guess the biker gang people i know people want to see the biker gang flying animation uh, it's not much but yeah i'm assuming this is gonna be like the uh the minor slimes and it's gonna be like a bunch of different hues and stuff some of them are jumping they're very excited to kill something it's gonna be a bunch of different hues and then i'm assuming they're gonna repeat eventually things just kind of get weird once we get past a certain number but yeah let's go ahead let's see them in action here the multiple enemies come on these boys do damage some of them just start flying on air like look at this what the hell i meant to say riding on air not flying on air on to the next staff though the slime pyre this one it's just it's just a slime staff but they're vampires so like i don't know it does have a cool flying animation though they turn into bats it's really cool but other than that i don't think there's gonna be anything too interesting from summoning in a lot next up b queen's crown this one i'm interested in yeah because it's not gonna summon anything it's just this one all right flying animation it already flies so i'm assuming it's just stronger okay is what would i i assume for anything that like has a certain limit it just gets stronger much like the uh tiger staff from uh 1.4 next up we got the ba bums this one i feel like is gonna be uh, very very predictable it's just gonna be a lot of bombs and a big line as simple as that i don't know if they'll bug out they jump around i feel like they got like the same ai as uh some of the other summons let's see him in action though it's gonna be a lot of explosions a lot of explosions y'all don't let him live all right on to the void dagger which is pretty much the blade staff equivalent uh but it's just you know crimson theme same thing with the null hatchet which is pretty much the same thing so let's see is there is there anything here for the flying animation probably not let's put some null hatchets in here why not there you go now it kind of looks like an illusion a mirage let's see him in action though damn imagine getting jumped like that i feel like i didn't check out if there was a bomb flying animation let's see okay he just kind of flies next up oh yes oh yes now this one i don't think there's gonna be multiple ships i think it's just gonna be one ship isn't it and it just gets stronger like how the other ones were just getting stronger with only one summon which is definitely interesting to say the least at least there's like you know different coding for when things get to this high in summons like some of them will actually summon the summon some of them will just be one summon and just get stronger and stronger so i'm assuming this dude yeah he's gonna gun down everything pretty quickly next up we got another serpent slash dragon type staff right here i'm ready to see this break maybe this one won't break who knows you know when i did the stardust dragon and when i did the uh there was another thing we did in that video the devourer of god summon those things didn't break they just oh it broke this broke this broke again can it target at least hit something oh it's kind of hitting them it's kind of hitting them okay so we know that these break after a while it's like guaranteed at that point there's like one or two more that we'll we get to see if it's 100 percent guaranteed on to the star surfers i love these guys too they're so colorful so colorful and so cool looking someone pointed out how like there's a hard mode version of like pre-hard mode stuff and i think that is cool you know how the paper planes are the pre-hard mode version and these guys are the hard mode version of the paper planes i like that idea pretty cool and they're still unique in their own way too but yeah again these guys just do the little 
little circling circling animation here. But let's see him in action. God damn. Let me just check something here. I'm assuming that most of these ones that like already levitate off the ground aren't gonna have a special flying animation yet. But just in case, just in case I forget, on to the next cloud in a boulder. This one was cool. This one by far probably had one of the coolest attacks. But if we summon in a lot here, we're straight up creating our own storm. All right, we got our own storm here. Let's see it in action. Let flying animation? No? All right. Let's see it in action, though. God damn. I kind of want to see it against, like, King Slime or something. I just want to see a boss get crushed. Look at this. That boy's getting sat on. Some people like that. They're not really focusing uh, King Slime that much. Can we focus King Slime, please? They're kind of just trying to kill everything. I, I appreciate it. All right, on to another one that I'm interested in is the Jelly Bean Jar one, where we got the little Diglett dudes. I don't remember if they were always like that. Weren't they like in the floor, not showing the background? Because I thought they only showed the background when you flew. But yeah, see what happens here? Six of them, I'm assuming, is the magic number, and then past that, nothing else? Okay, six is the magic number here. Let's go ahead and see them kill some things. Damn! They hit hard. They, they gave me tiger staff vibes right there. All right, on to our last set of staves here. Staves, 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 whatever you want to say. Staves, that sounds like a name. We got the crystal fist staff, which I'm assuming is going to be exactly the same as the meteor fist staff. How it just gets a fuck ton of fists. There's my one swear per video. Don't tell your parents. Hold up. My content's marked as adult only. Why are you guys watching this? You know who you are. Let's see it in action, though. Those boys just got fisted. All right, on to the next the copter x staff oh yes we know where this is going we know where this is going i wonder what the magic number is here if anyone wants to count the uh the summon noises then go ahead and tell me where it breaks oh no it's not broken yet it's not broken yet oh that's broken no i can't tell honestly like it's still moving it's just a little jitter oh now that's fucking broken yeah that that's broken wait is he on top of me no yeah, I don't know. It's just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It came back after I desummoned it. What the heck? And it's like a bunch of little ones now. What the heck? What is going on here? It's like a bunch of like single ones. What the fuck? How do I get them out of here? I don't want them anymore. Oh, there you go. All right. This one is another one I'm interested in. Hold up. Flying animation? Uh, not really. This one I'm interested in. We got four heads. We got five heads. This is what we saw last time. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, it keeps going. We had like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh my god, it just keeps going. This is amazing. I thought this one out of all of them would be another one to just stop, but this one just keeps going. Now I don't know if we're still adding on now. We might not just we might not be adding on anymore. But this is another mesmerizing thing to look at. Let's see it in action. Oh my god. Wasn't it like their heads would shoot out and hit something? Now it's just like a wheel of death. Like, straight up a wheel of death just following behind me. Go ahead and kill him. They're having troubles killing King Slime. Because there's, like, so much, like... Because there's, like, so much stuff going on, they can't kill him. All right, moving on to the next one. Clarence. Sounds like a name. Let's go ahead and summon a bunch of these. I'm assuming this is going to be the same thing as the, uh... Slasher. Is that what it's called? Sky Slasher. It's going to be a whole lot of swords. These ones don't look so stiff. Ah, they're still pretty stiff. They don't really move when I go up and down. All right, there you go. They're off the screen. Let's see them in action. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Did I check the animation for this? Yes, pretty much. All right, the Spirit Revolver. I'm interested in this. Got a good, like, 100, 100 plus comments saying that it's a JoJo reference. I get it. You watch JoJo. Congratulations. But uh, this could probably summon a good bit of bullets here. I would definitely wasn't keeping count. I'm barely keeping count for any of these. But, like, motherfuckers are about to get gunned down right here. All right, moving on. The Eclipse Herald Staff. Hold up. Flying animation? Probably not. Eclipse Herald Staff. Now, I wonder. I feel like this one has a cap. Does it? Yeah. Cap's right there. Honestly, that's what I expected with this one. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. Those probably hurt like hell. Yeah, those are doing a lot of damage. On to the next. Shadow Flame Probe Controller. This one, I'm very interested in. Is it just like a lot of probes? It's a whole lot of probes. Oh, yes. There you go. There's a whole lot of probes. Let's see it in action here. Oh my god. They just get destroyed. Let me King Slime. That was beautiful. It's like I have my own little destroyer with me. With all the probes and everything. Oh my god. That is amazing. 
Ghost. Moving on to our last one here, the Necro Doll. This one is just gonna spawn in a bunch of skeletons, I assume. Oh, this one's gonna be loud when I summon in something, because these dudes explode. So like this, this might get a little uh, destructive and loud. All right, let's see him in action here. Jesus, they didn't even have a chance. Team Slash? Just like that, he's gone. Flying animation, the skeletons, they fly and then they do this little pose in there very nice yeah i think that's everything i think that's everything that we can summon multiple of because i'm pretty sure you can't summon multiple of uh the squires yeah i said i was gonna check out vanilla ones i guess i should only check out like vanilla ones that are interesting oh god there's a lot of weapons here all right i'm only gonna test out these three i don't know none of them really look that interesting and also we're not in 1.4 let's see the pygmy ones see, this is where like the hue and saturation like different color minions uh comes to mind for vanilla terraria stuff well i guess there's a couple of them but this one is the first one that comes to mind is the pygmy staff and it's looking like there's only three colors three colors three variations that's that's a little upsetting i'm not gonna lie i thought there was a little bit more than that but i guess i don't really pay too much attention to these guys cool summon though cool summon though they are kind of useless though i think in a regular playthrough because i think like the sanguine staff the blade staff is just so good in a regular 1.4 summon playthrough these guys are kind of eh. i noticed that with a lot of vanilla summons we got the deadly sphere another one with a couple variations we have all the same variations so far isn't there variations i swear there was variations i swear there was maybe i'm just thinking of the enemy i, I really do swear there was variations for this what the fuck yeah another comment i saw a lot of people were like summoners op you can use whip only and i was like oh you can use a subclass in a class to beat the game like other classes don't have subclasses you can use only and beat the game with i'm just saying there's people dick riding summoner like i know it's the it's the hot thing at the moment given it's like the most updated overhauled class but you know hop off stop cock watching <laughs> just hop off for a second man yeah let's see these guys in action i already know these boys are quick with it oh they changed forms. Uh, there's one of them that didn't change form. You, you didn't get the message. And let's see the UFOs here. Xeno Staff is probably one of my favorite summoning staffs. Uh, I kind of don't like how they're a little slow on the draw sometimes. I definitely felt the, them being a little slow on the draw in the 1.4 summoner stuff, especially when I was fighting Duke Fishron. But uh, they're still really good summons. Just don't get too far. I, I guess that's a, a lot of summons. Don't get too far. But yeah, I'm in this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see this stuff. So I wanted to put out this video for you. Follow my Twitch. If I'm not posting a lot on YouTube. Because I've been playing a lot of Minecraft with the boys. And I might be streaming it on Twitch every now and then. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.